Hi, Paul from Heritage Electrical. I'm just going to talk about uh, a data cabinet install that we did at this job. Thank the you. reason why this came about originally um, was that he's got a BT landline coming into the building that had about 3 meg download speed on it and he couldn't get a supplier with any higher uh, download speed than that BT was the was the best one and that's the best that they could give so what we did is we installed an antenna on the roof which is a an LTE antenna which takes a, a sim card 4G sim card so at the minute it's got a Vodafone sim card on the uh, on the roof basically if you use a traditional router that takes a sim card um, and then you use a standard um, antenna that comes with five meters of coaxial cable on it um, if you use them antennas you're limited to a five meter run away from the router which is usually inconvenient so the router would have to be positioned right on the back of the wall outside of the wall so you because you've got such a short cable for that to be useful um, and then also you get a lot of loss down the coaxial cable as well so the supply source in this case which is the sim card being as close to the antenna as possible is going to be the best solution for receiving your internet wirelessly the speeds we're now getting are between 30 and 60 depending on traffic and you know time of day so before um, upstairs behind a desk he had the incoming telephone supply and he had a router and then he had an antenna and then he had network switches and everything was just a total mess inside the house so we have recommended moving it into the extension into this plant room if you like and everything coming back to this point and then we've connected the existing house onto our new equipment so it's all nice and tidy in here out the way um, in the cabinet we've got power supply at the top as we've got so many devices that need power um, then you've got these cable tidies as well which are just for the back we've got a ubiquity um, network switch which is uh, PO, POE so if we did want to power ubiquity cam CCTV cameras or we wanted to power ubiquity access points they need 50 watts of power I think between 20 and 50 watts I think um, to run them so without the POE switch you can't run any additional ubiquity equipment so we've put a network switch in that's more than capable of adding and adding for, for future um, we've used a ubiquity UDM Pro router as well so this main router comes with eight eight ports on it anyway but we've used a 16 port switch as we would have filled them up very quickly with just the equipment that we've put in now and then there's room there for expansion in the future so we've used a cat 6a patch panel and we've used cat 6a cable which is it's a lot thicker grade cable and each two pairs are screened with foil tape around each one so you get less interference as we're taking power down it and also we're taking signals as well so you don't get any interference between your power and your signals down the one cable so we've spent a bit more money putting that grade cable in there's not too much difference between that cat 6a and cat 6 normal grade cat 6 so we've put that in to future proof the building so these patch leads here are coming out of the 16 port network switch ubiquity switch and going into connections one to eight sorry one to seven on the patch panel all these on the patch panel are going out to the um, media plates that are in the fabric of the building so we've got a couple in the cinema room we've got a couple around a desk area we've got one for a Sonos speaker and then we've got maybe another two or three which go through into the existing part of the house and then pick up the desk upstairs and then pick up the top floor of the building as well um, on the bottom <coughs> of here there's no shelf in here we've purposely left some space this is the heat miser neo hub which controls the heat miser uh, equipment that we did sh uh, showed you in the video before uh, that gives you the online capability it can, all the thermostats around the house connect wirelessly, wirelessly to this and then that gives you the online app control um, remote access 
things like that. So that is for the heat miser for the heating, which is plugged straight into our network switch. Here we've got it's a very small box. That's the uh, Lutron hub. This is the main repeater for the Lutron system that we've got in. We're using a Lutron RA2 Select system. So all the Pico, all the Pico switches and all the Lutron modules connect wirelessly over an RF signal. So they don't, they're not relying on the internet to work. But you introduce the hub into the system, then you can do the programming easier, and then also you can access everything, everything around the house via the app. So you can set timers, controllers, uh, set scenes, and then also um, it uses an astronomical clock as it's connected to the internet, which gives you your on off times for external lighting. So we've got the external lighting here coming on at dusk and then goes off at sunrise. 